So what's up guys, this is Amit Asia from Media Technologies and in today's video, let's talk about vlogging. Now this is a particular genre of video which has gone very popular recently on YouTube thanks to many popular vloggers like AC Neistat, Mumbai Garnikhil, Peter McKinnon and that's why many people like you and me who are aspiring YouTubers are trying to become vloggers. But where we get stuck is with regards to equipment because the established YouTubers use very high-end equipment like Canon 80p, a Jolly Gorilla Pod, Rode Video Micro for audio and the quality that they get is very crisp. But in our starting days, many of us don't have access to that equipment so in today's video, let's find out how you can set up the perfect vlogging setup even at a very low budget. So with that being said, if you are interested in vlogging and you are starting on YouTube then this video might be of some help to you. So without wasting any more time, let's jump right into the video. Now let's talk about what device you are gonna use to shoot your video with. Now as this is a budget vlogging setup, we are not talking about expensive DSLRs or even expensive point and shoot cameras for that matter. We are talking about the camera that you already have that's in your pocket and that's your smartphone. Now, with a smartphone, generally people tend to shoot with the front camera of the smartphone and that's totally fine apart from the fact that you get a little bit less quality compared to the rear camera but that's totally fine in the starting days. But what is a problem is how you use the front camera. Now hear me out on this. Now many people in their starting days tend to look at the screen rather than looking at the camera of your smartphone. Like for example, now currently I'm looking at the camera of my phone and now I'm looking at the screen of my phone. I hope you get the difference because when you're looking at the screen of your phone, you are actually looking away from the camera of your phone and that creates some awkward angles which are not suitable for vlogging. So if you are shooting with the front camera of your phone, keep this thing in mind. Now let's talk about the software you're gonna use to shoot the vlogs. And you can shoot with the default camera app of your phone, there's no problem with that. You can also use some professional camera apps like Filmy Pro and here's a card to my video on that. Or, or else you can also use some free applications like open camera or bacon camera and these have also work out pretty well because you can ex adjust the exposure and the focusing with the applications and you can get the perfect result no issues now once you are ready to shoot your vlog the next thing you need is to mount your smartphone onto your gorilla pod now why i'm talking about a gorilla pod because with the help of a gorilla pod you can get some very stable footage and that's quite important when you're talking about a good quality vlog now you can also use a selfie stick which comes out with 50 and you can even use your hand to shoot the vlog but it's a bit painful and the selfie stick might not be the perfect solution so if you can invest a bit like rupees 2 to 300 you can always get a generic gorilla pod the two advantages with the gorilla pod you get the flexibility that is you can shoot wherever you like with the gorilla pod and the next thing is that you can get a very stable footage with it while you are holding your smartphone with the gorilla pod now in order to attach your smartphone to Gorilla Pod, there are many smartphone mounts available out there in the market but the cheaper ones are not that good quality. I'm not talking about buying a jobby mount or a fish mount but I'm talking about something which is a bit more of good quality because I've mounted my phone several times on those 50 rupees cheap mounts like these and trust me your, your phone is very unsafe when you are talking about mounting your smartphone onto these kind of mounts. I myself have dropped my phones number of times from these mounts. I would suggest you invest in these mounts which I am currently showing in the video. I got this for around 300 from banggood.com. I will leave the link in the description box below and if you can afford it, you can just go with this mount because it's a lot more safer. It, it is made of rubber and plastic and it gives the confidence that while you're using your phone to vlog, your phone will not fall off. But if you can't afford it, the generic ones, though not that good, are the only options that you have. Now once your video footage is done, no video is good without a perfect audio. And for audio, you can always use the internal microphone of your smartphone, but that's not always the best solution. If you are planning to use the internal microphone, here's a quick tip, just keep silent after you press the record button for almost 5 to 6 seconds and then cut out the noise part from the whole clip using audacity in post production and if you don't know how to do that just comment down below and i will just make a quick video on that but if you know how to do it you can get some stellar results even just with the primary microphone of your smartphone but if you want to step up your audio game a bit more you can always invest in a good lavalier microphone 
it comes for our rupees 2 to 300 which i also use and that's quite a good one but if you can invest a bit more i would suggest you to go with the boya m1 microphone it's a very good my lovely microphone you can get stellar results out of the box you don't need to edit the audio as well but that boya m1 microphone is a bit on the expensive side so i would suggest you just go with the generic lavalier microphone and edit the audio in audacity before you are uploading and in that way you can get some stellar results with the audio as well so that's pretty much it you got a stable video footage you got a crisp audio and now what matters the last is the content that you have now vlogging is just sharing your life with your viewers on youtube or any other social platform but the problem with vlogging is that shooting videos in a public by holding a smartphone like this is a bit awkward uh, sure if you are passionate about it you can get used to it i also tried myself but i'm not familiar with that kind of shooting videos in public i feel a kind of bit awkward but if you're just starting off vlogging you can try the equipment that i said with your smartphone and then you can have a decent enough vlogging setup so with that being said this was the budget vlogging setup that i was talking about so if you enjoyed the content go ahead leave a like and subscribe to the channel and thanks a lot for watching i will catch you guys in the next one peace out